Alrighty, what's going on folks? So this particular video, there's been something that's been going on that I've been seeing more and more of lately, and that's experienced Linux users giving new Linux users bad fucking advice about a lot of different stuff. Just even people who are mildly or remotely interested in Linux, they're just giving bad advice. Um, so we're just going to go over some of the bad advice I constantly hear. When Linux is sold as a drop-in replacement, the you can do everything you did on your last OS. They don't give the caveats. If a person's tied to a specific piece of software that doesn't work on the prior platform, are they going to be willing to learn the new tools? If the answer is no, then the solution for them is not the fucking switch. The solution for them is not to fucking go to another platform if it doesn't have the tools that they specifically need and are unwilling to switch to different tools to get the similar job done. Linux is an alternative. Just as Mac is an alternative to Windows. We're over-promising and under-delivering because we're not tailoring the recommendations. And this is kind of leads into the next one, which is not tailoring the fucking distro recommendations. Just because you use fucking Gen 2 or you use Arch doesn't mean those are the distros for fucking everybody. Examine who you're talking to, their technical level, and their willingness to fucking learn. If they want to go in and deep dive into the system, then that's their fucking prerogative. So maybe, yeah, a Slackware, a Gentoo, or a Debian, you know, like a server edition of Debian, or any of that kind of stuff is going to be totally up their alley. If they just want to check their email and get some shit done, and they view computers as tools, how about you don't be one and actually just make a recommendation of an Ubuntu, or sorry, Ubuntu, whatever, or Linux Mint, or, you know, insert distro here. And keep your personal preference out of it and tailor it to what they will be most comfortable with and most familiar with, which leads me into another kind of sticking point that I fucking constantly can't stand. And this is the over-reliance on the CLI. We talk security. I love this aspect. We talk security. Don't copy and paste commands from the internet. You know, random commands. What's the first thing we fucking do when there's a problem? We tell them, give us a dump file. And, you know, <laughs> so we can go through it. And then here's a bunch of commands to copy and paste into the terminal. But we tell them not to fucking do it. So this over-reliance on the terminal is maddeningly annoying. If 90% of the people are going to be point and click users, why am I going to tell them how to move a fucking file from the terminal when it's just going to be easier for them to, oh, I don't know, right click, <laughs> tell it to copy or cut and go over to the file or folder they want it to and <laughs> do a paste command from the GUI. They don't care. Tailor the stuff to the fucking audience you're in. This goes for big projects too. I don't, I, I'm not ragging on small projects or anything like that, but I'm ragging on projects. Oh, we're for new users or we, you know, we're end user focused. And then all the end user documentation is fucking shit that we tell them not to fucking do. Did anybody see the thought process and lack of it here? Start showing documentation in both. If you're going to do it, do it in both. One's a new user, one's for the more advanced users who want to control and fucking tinker and do every other goddamn thing that they feel the GUI's too limiting. Whereas most people just want to use their fucking computer and do shit and get shit done. Those that don't not quite understand where I fall, Linux is a tool. I use it. It's the best one for me. So... It's this weird mentality that we have in the community that I just don't get is a lot of overselling and under delivering because we're not taking the actual user 
into consideration when we make fucking district recommendations and the documentation and the mixed messaging. Perfect example. There was someone I recently talked to who was like, oh, I want to look at Linux. And they still have this myth where everything has to be done in the GUI or the terminal and they can't do it in the GUI. You know why? Because they went to look for help and all the fucking documentation, the shit people were telling them was literally all terminal. With some of the shit that could have been fixed within the fucking GUI. Now you can say, oh, well, I don't want those kind of users. Well, we're going to need those kind of users because those users eventually, potentially, will become developers. Which will continue the longevity of said open source project that we all love. So sometimes I wonder if the community can actually figure out and get its own head out of its own ass, because sometimes you're kind of in your own fucking way. And I'm saying this as a Linux user, this is being done on Linux, but legitly if they're technical, cool, give them a gentoo, get, you know, whatever, give them a technical distro. If they're a new user then they just view this shit as, you know, I don't give a shit about an OS. I just need tools to get shit done. Give them something else that without your bias on it, that's going to fit them. That's all it boils down to. And if the person is unwilling or does not want to invest the time to know new tools, do not be one and force feed a distro recommendation down their fucking throat. Because that happens far too frequently.